From our studios in New York, here is Stone Phillips. This is a lie detector test in progress. The spikes and dips can unmask a lie, maybe even a murderer, at least to mark them. Tonight, Rob Stafford puts himself to the test with some surprising results. I can teach a person how to control every tracing on the chart in less than five minutes. Doug Williams is a former polygraph examiner for the Oklahoma City Police Department. He now sells manuals over the internet that teach people how to pass polygraph tests because he says he's seen too many innocent lives ruined by false results. Now just do what I told you on your muscle exercises. We won't disclose the specifics of what Williams taught me, but he basically showed me some muscle and breathing techniques to use at certain times. It seems simple enough, but after I failed to trick the machine the day before, I highly doubted I could beat the polygraph today. Are you now in the state of Florida? No. That's a truthful answer. I'm in the state of Oklahoma, but I applied some of the techniques and successfully made my answer look like a lie. Are you lying when you said you never violated any traffic laws? No. Here, I lied and used some other techniques. But this time, the polygraph chart showed a truthful response. No reaction whatsoever, just a nice, calm, even breathing pattern. In other words, I fooled the machine. You taught me that in five minutes. We taught you how to control every tracing on that chart, whether you're telling the truth or whether you're not, on demand, anytime, anywhere, and we did it in less than five minutes. Don't the experienced examiners know all these tricks? I don't teach people how to beat the machine. I teach people how to produce for the polygraph examiner exactly what he expects to see from a truthful subject. Aren't you helping criminals by making this information available? Possibly so. Look, you and I both know what I'm doing. So why don't we quit using this antiquated witchcraft? It does not 